Hi everyone, my name is Corian. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Sabre 350BH. This is an awesome bunkhouse model with an industry first design how we do the basement storage. So this bunk room, you only take one step up into the bunk room where typically you take two or three. It's a great space where you get lots of head to height space. You got two lofts here so you can sleep one, two, maybe three if people are okay sleeping next to each other. You've got plenty of storage built in around the bunks. Behind me is a trifold sofa. This will flip out into another bed, full size bed that you can sleep up to two on. It's a memory foam material, very comfortable. You've got nice windows in here for natural light and then I'll bring things over to the bathroom. So in the rear of this bunkhouse model is actually a half bathroom that's dedicated to the children so they don't have to use your master bedroom. You have a little sink in here, you've got space to put some toiletries away, you've got a full-size medicine cabinet, a window to let in some natural light as well as a toilet. And then you only take one step down into the bathroom. So you take one step down from the bunk room and you're in the main living area. You got a nice big TV here that's set in an angle so everybody can get a proper view of it. You've got a fireplace down below that'll pump out electric heat if you're hooked up to shoreline. You've got some nice cabinetry that's built in above for some extra storage. This is theater seating here to my right. So blue LED lighting, heat, massage functions, they'll fully recline. Beside that is our four person dinette. You've got a nice booth on one side, two traditional table and chairs over there. And then you've got your zebra shades there behind it as well. So the zebra shades are going to help you combat some of the light that comes in. So you can black it out. You can alternate these to let in as much or as little light as needed. Here beside the main living area, you're going to have your kitchen. You've got a full length pantry with LED lights inside for at nighttime. You can see what you're getting at. Then behind me, you've got this nice solid surface countertop on not only the stove area, but your island. That's a solid surface acrylic material. It's heat resistant. Scratches are going to buff out nicely. You've got a nice 30 inch microwave so you can, big, you can put big plates in there. Then you've got your oven, three burner stove, and a little bit of storage that's built in down below as well. You've got storage that's built into the island. So you've got plenty of room for dry goods. You've got a big farm style sink, detachable faucet. And then here behind me, you've got your breakfast hutch. So you've got a bonus pantry over here. Your shelves are removable. That way you can put some brooms, mops, things like that away in there if you don't want to use that for dry goods. And then the breakfast hutch is great for crock pots, small coffee maker, extra countertop space, and you've got extra storage built in as well. Now we'll take things to the master suite. Before we get into the master suite, right off the entry door is your control panel cluster. In the middle is your Lippert One control. It controls your lights, slides, awning, as well as your auto leveling system. Then there's a smartphone app where you can control all those same features plus a backup camera that's already included. So you add the backup camera as an accessory to the smartphone app. You get a visual feed of what's going on behind the trailer. Then below that, you've got one of your thermostats. There's two thermostats, one for each of the 15,000 BTU air conditioners. So all together, you're gonna have 30,000 BTUs of air conditioning. Keeps up great in Texas, Arizona summers. The voltage meter, that's a part of our juice pack system. So you have a 100 watt solar panel that's roof mounted on this trailer. You can expand it up to 500 watts with the 30 amp charge controller that's included. You have a voltage meter on the inside, voltage meter on the outside, and we also include a lead acid battery from the factory. Then you've got a couple light switches, water pump switch, and we'll go to the bathroom. So in the bathroom, you'll see the tub surround is very large. It's got a seat in it. You've got plenty of head height space with a skylight to lend a little extra natural light. You've got a big sink. You've got a full-size medicine cabinet, plenty of linen storage, a porcelain toilet that can handle some more aggressive cleaning chemicals, and there's space for a trash can. Then lastly, one good feature for this bathroom is the new tankless water heater we're using. It's on-demand hot water whenever you need. You can take rapid succession showers if you have a big family and you're not going to run out of hot water. Finishing things off, you've got a king-size bed up here in the master suite. It's supported by struts so you can get to that extra storage that's underneath the mattress. Above head, you'll see a shelf. It's got a hole routed through it with power connections on the bottom side so you can put your cords up and over. You can put tablets, smartphones, CPAP machine up there, get it all up and out of the way. And then behind me is going to be your wardrobe area. First off is a front facing compartment for a combo washer dryer unit or you can put a washer here. And on the other side it is prepped for a dryer if you would like to add one. And then we'll take things on outside. All right. So on the exterior of the Sabre 350BH, the biggest distinguishing feature is the basement storage that we added. So you've only got that one step up to go into the bunk room, but you've still got plenty of space under the underneath here. So you can put maybe some bikes in here, you can put storage totes. On the other side here, you have some netting that separates some extra storage that you can get to of some outside storage compartments, and then it's easily removable if you wanted to bypass the net and get into the main area. 
Then up above the storage area is the backup camera. It's pre-installed, it's Lippert brand. So the LCI One Control app on your smartphone is gonna connect to that camera and you'll get that visual feed of what's going on behind the trailer on your smart device. Then right beside that storage compartment is gonna be your giant outdoor kitchen. You've got a huge fridge, you can put snacks, drinks away in there. You've got lots of storage space as well as some drawers. And then you've got a pre-pumped sink and LED lights to illuminate it at nighttime. So before we get over to the entry door, a couple things to point out on the tires. You have tire pressure monitoring system on there. Green is 80 PSI. Yellow, you're getting low. Red, you really need to put some air into the tires. We also equip these with 7,000 pound axles, so you'll notice that our cargo carrying capacity numbers are much higher compared to typical fifth wheels. Then we'll move things along. Here at the entry door, you'll see we use an all black glass door. This is gonna help combat some of that sunlight, give you some more privacy, as well as all of our windows are a new solar reflective window. So it looks like a mirror from the outside, but you can still see out from the inside. It's gonna cut down on those UV rays coming inside. It's gonna keep it much cooler and give you a lot of privacy. Right below that door is the Moride Stable Steps. They're nice, sturdy steps for getting in and out of the trailer, but they also have adjustable feet pegs with these little push pins. And then underneath, there's LED lights that are tied into the awning lights. So when the awning lights are on, this kicks on as well, gives you a little extra safety illuminating the steps at nighttime. And to cap things off on the entry door side, you have this giant front storage compartment. You can put some picnic tables, lawn chairs, whatever you need in there, plenty of space. There's LED lighting that illuminates it at nighttime. You have 110 power cable hookups, as well as a hole that's routed through the floor if you were to put a bigger TV on the exterior of the trailer. Here at the front of the trailer, you have the front storage compartment. Your spare tire is housed up there. There's a lead acid battery that's included from the factory as well as a space to add another if you'd like. Your battery disconnects up there, so if you set that to the off position, your solar panel will still trickle charge the battery, keep it topped up. Then you have your voltage meter to keep an eye on how much juice is left in the battery. Then this polar shield sticker, that's an important feature. The polar shield is a fully enclosed underbelly. It's thermofoil wrapped. It's fully insulated as well as ducted. We have furnace ducts that go over the holding tanks, blows hot air into the underbelly. Your front cap, your roof, they're also fully insulated and thermofoil wrapped. If you're planning on camping down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit or negative six Celsius, that's when we would recommend skirting the underbelly, maybe taking some extra precautions so your pipes don't freeze. Then you have these two legs sticking down. That's a part of your auto leveling system. It's a four point electric auto leveling system. It also has hitch height memory, so it's gonna remember where your truck bed was last at when you set up your campsite. Now we'll move on to the docking station. Right beside the docking station is the new Furion tankless water heater. This water heater does not have to actually heat up a six gallon or 10 gallon reservoir. It's on on-demand hot water. You can take rapid succession showers, not run out, and it's also power efficient and more eco-friendly. You're gonna go through less LP gas using this water heater. Then next to it is your all-in-one docking station, like I said, that has your outdoor shower, it has your water connections, your black tank flush, cable hookups, your winterizing system is all consolidated into one place for you. It's a metal surrounding too, so if you're ever to get any splashback, it's gonna protect your subfloor. And lastly, you just got a little extra space here to get to that front storage compartment. That'll finish things off with the new 350BH. Again, this is an industry first design with the storage loft and the one step up into the bunkhouse. If you'd like to learn any more information about this floor plan or maybe find a dealer near you, you can check us out at forestriverinc.com slash saber. Thank you.